here is Podia Amiri heading for the red corner. His opponent is Lazizbek Mulojanov. He'll be boxing out of the blue corner. So Piroska Becky sending the boxers back to their respective corners as we await the opening bell. Well, what a contest we have in prospect here between two tall super heavyweights, both of whom very decorated in their career so far. The boxer wearing red is Puria Amiri, 24 years of age, part of a 10 strong Iranian boxing team, comes to the ring as the reigning Asian continental bronze medalist, having been defeated in the semi-final by Kazakhstan's Kamshibek Kunkabayev at the championships in Dubai earlier this summer. His opponent is Lazizbek Mulojanov, 22 years of age from Tashkent, the host city of the next edition of the World Boxing Championships. This his debut on the World Championship stage, as it is for the man in red, but he comes to the ring fresh off a first place finish, top spot on the podium in the World Military Championships in Moscow. And again, it's no small accomplishment to win that tournament because many of the boxers representing their armed forces from nations all around the world are Olympians. Beautiful lead right hand landed by Mulojanov. Comes to the ring as the reigning Uzbek national champion. Solid left cross landed, then turned it to a good left hand down to the body. Did Mulojanov. Looking to increase the pressure out of that southpaw stance, remaining over his front foot as the two boxers then ex exchanged single shots. But it was a really authoritative jab that was rammed home by Mulojanov. Clipping right hand landed on the inside by Amiri, but then there's another hook that gets through. Left hand success once again from Mulajanov. Neither boxer or both boxers operating behind guards that are very relaxed indeed. There within punching range, Mulajanov tucked up but was still able to score with the left hand as he digs a southpaw left to the body of his opponent from Iran. Counter left hand. Threatened to stray into rabbit punch territory from Mulojanov. That left hand altogether more accurate. Same shot once again from the man in blue as he drives in a hard left to the body of Amiri. So 30 seconds to go in what has been a high paced opening round so far. Remember, these are 92 kilogram plus super heavyweight boxers. So closing seconds of the opening round, southpaw left just short of the mark from Mulojanov. Flashing right hook, grazed the chin of Amiri. Good round of boxing. As the two men lock eyes on one another as the bell sounded to conclude the first three minutes.
So a 4-1 split in favor of Molojanov. The judge from Japan preferring the work of the man from Iran. Thought he did enough to take a clean sweep personally, but that's irrelevant. It was a competitive opening round. Amiri had his moments, but I don't think he had anywhere near as many. Second. As the man in blue, and that perhaps reflected on the 4-1 split that Molojanov was able to earn. So into the second round then, we talked about the heritage, the lineage, that delicious Ori is following in the footsteps of, as the GB representative, or on the GB program representing England here in Belgrade. But how about the footsteps that Molojanov is following in? Bakadir Jalolov, world and Olympic champion, going well in the professional ranks as well. And again, to give you an idea as to how revered boxers are in Uzbekistan, Jalolov was a flag bearer for his nation at the Olympic Games in Rio. He was eliminated by Joe Joyce at that particular Olympic Games, but again, showing what persistence and determination and indeed experience, counter right hand is a beautiful shot from Mullajonov, with the more eye-catching of that exchange between he and Amiri. But having been eliminated by Joe Joyce in Rio, who went on to take Olympic silver, Bakadir Jalolov continued to apply himself, continued to trust the process, put in the work, go to the multi-nations tournaments. Had a stint in the professional ranks as well, of course, but then come the Olympic Games, which ended up being five years later, he occupied top spot on the podium, as he did at the World Championships in Yekaterinburg two years ago. Solid shot landed by Amiri. And I can tell you, having commentated at the World Youth Championships in Kielce earlier this year, that the, world, that the youth representative for Uzbekistan at the Super Heavyweight Division He's a formidable boxer as well. And again, success begets success because the next generation of boxers will see these people competing on the global stage and oftentimes say, I want to be like that guy. And so that's how it all begins. The inspiration, becoming what you can see is a solid left hand lands from Mulajanov and that's a hard counter right hand landed by Amiri. But raising his arm contemptuously to celebrate his own success was Mullajanov. And again, these are 91 kilogram, 92 kilogram plus super heavyweights, excuse me, as Mullajanov again scores with a hard single. Amiri pouring his way forwards with that right hand cocked, looked to uncoil it. But he and Mullajanov finding themselves in a tangle. So closing seconds of what has been a high tempo second round. Terrific action between these two super heavyweights. My goodness, letting their hands go with tremendous frequency. Molojanov taking it on a 4-1 split once again. So 20 points to 18 in favor of Molojanov on the cards of judges 1-4. to four. The Japanese judge has Amiri leading 20 points to 18 with three minutes to go. Some of the action from round number two. And again, it's a competitive contest. But Molojanov just ahead in terms of the successes that he is able to create. Well, the Uzbek coach has once again been working overtime, lifting up the legs of his charge and working those pins to ensure that they're fresh and ready to go, keep his man moving around the boxing ring as we go into the third and final round. 
Amiri of Iran, part of a 10-strong boxing team. He scores with a good right hand downstairs and then upstairs and then a left jab getting to work against Mulajanov, who has turned orthodox, but coming out as a right-handed boxer. My goodness, it didn't work out too well for him in the first 25 seconds or so of this third and final round. Amiri went to work on him quickly. Now he's back in the left-handed stance. The stance where he's enjoyed success to the tune of 4-1 splits in both rounds at one and two. Well, he's disengaging completely here. Counter right hand. Again, threatened to become a rabbit punch. Good left hand to the body. And perhaps it's a good thing that the Uzbek coach was working those legs, as is his, as is his custom because perhaps the instructions were manage this contest, see this one out. Remember, his compatriot in the 86 kilogram cruiserweight division was taken out at the two minute 59 mark of round number three by the man from Belgium in a contest where he appeared to be in a good, strong position with momentum in his favor, but he engaged in a trade-off against Victor Shellstra did shock Jakon Abdullayev, and he was put flat on his back on the canvas and out of the tournament. So perhaps mindful of that, up in his higher weight classes, where the boys possess plenty of bang in their punches, Molojanov hasn't really engaged, or didn't really engage for the first, or for a portion of this round. Came out as an orthodox fighter, and took some punches from the accurate work of Amiri. Then turned southpaw, got on his bike, takes a clipping shot as the box is falling to a clinch there. But it's been a very good contest, this one. And Amiri hasn't stopped going in pursuit of victory. Keeping his shape, keeping his composure, trusting his skill as he sinks in a good right hand to the body. Left hand over the top is a scoring shot from Mulajanov. And again, you have to admire the competitive spirit because victory is the number one objective here. Performance is all well and good, and that is what Amiri has gone in pursuit of. But I don't think he's done enough to turn around the deficit that he faced after two rounds. But the man didn't stop competing, showing terrific fighting spirit competed all the way up until the final bell, landing the final shot of the contest. But I don't think it's going to be enough to overturn the 20 points to 18 gap that he faced on the scorecards of judges one to four. So Lazizbek Mulojanov will be advancing through to the third preliminary round. It will be a split decision verdict in favor of the man in blue. But one suspects that Amiri will have done, eno done enough to take the final round. Let's get the official verdict at the conclusion of this, the Ladies final bout of the session. In the bout number 156 in the ring A, the winner of points by split decision is the boxer out of the blue corner. And there is confirmation. A split decision victory for Lazizbek Molojanov. Lovely to see that respect and sportsmanship between the two boxers. From Amiri's point of view, it was too little too late. You can see he's taken the, all three rounds for the judge from Japan, and he took the final round for the other four judges. So a strong finish to the contest that was competitive from opening bell to last. But Amiri, a little too little, too late in his bid to get his hand raised as the victor. But he played his part in what was a terrific contest to behold. But it's Lazizbek Molojanov, the reigning World Military Boxing Championships gold medalist, who goes through to the third preliminary round, the round of 16. And he will face off against Delicious Ori, that bout scheduled for the 31st of October in the afternoon session. Some of the action then from what was a really good contest to conclude the sixth session of boxing. Here was the moment of confirmation, which sees Molojanov progress 
through to the third preliminary round. Wonderful sportsmanship in evidence between 